shocking things discovered in Antarctica, aliens or even sperm samples that are 50 million years old, are two of the many surprises that Antarctica brings to scientists. Under the endless icy surface of this land hide scary and mysterious things and creatures that very few people know about. In this video, we will explore 15 mysteries discovered in Antarctica. Everything you imagine in a horror fiction movie will be available in this southernmost land. Pyramids in Antarctica? Giza Pyramid in Prasetom or Aluxa were not the largest and oldest pyramids on this planet. The top structure in this ranking, while unbelievable, is said to be located in Antarctica, a place where civilization seemingly does not exist. In 2016, satellite images distributed on the internet showed something like the Egyptian pyramids we often see on the small screen. However, the difference is that it is found in Antarctica. From satellite images, the structure of this object consists of four sloping sides, quite similar to the Great Pyramid of Giza. With an area of about two square kilometers, the Antarctic Pyramid and its special geological structure immediately became the inspiration for all kinds of conspiracy theories. Some people believe it was built by an ancient civilization 10,000 years ago when Antarctica was still warm, while others claim that it is the work of aliens. According to David Childress, the author of these hypotheses, ancient aliens likely created the pyramid at the top of Mount Shackleton. This is also the oldest pyramid in the world. It was the first pyramid and the model for later pyramids that humans... Mysterious Monsters of Antarctica In 2007, a Japanese scientist shared about a monster he saw with his own eyes. He said he saw a mysterious creature at the bottom of the ocean in Antarctica. It is white, up to 30 meters long, has the body of a fish but has two human-like arms. Although he only had time to observe for a moment, Weitra discussed the story with other scientists. Of course, everyone thought it was a myth. But the attitudes of all of them have changed since a strange video appeared, which captured an image of a giant sea creature with a very mysterious shape that no one can explain. For many years, rumors began to spread about a mysterious unknown monster lurking somewhere in the icy waters of Antarctica. The Japanese call it Ninjin, based on a simulation of a humanoid monster in this country's legend. Ningen was first discovered in the 1990s by fishing boats in the Pacific Ocean. Due to the distance, sailors mistakenly thought the Ningen sea monster was a resident of Antarctica wearing a white bear fur coat. But when the ship approached the strange creature, these sailors were really shocked to discover that Ningen was much larger in size than the surrounding creature with a length of about 20, 30 meters, pure white color, smooth body. Minus, your ninjin shape is quite human-like with two hands with five fingers, two legs, big eyes, and a slit mouth. However, they could not determine which species it belonged to. Scientists also pose a few hypotheses about this mysterious creature. The most prominent is the theory that ninjin is a giant manta ray, which occasionally floats to the surface to create buzz for imaginative people. In addition, in the case of the Japanese scientist, it may have disguised itself with some icebergs, causing him confusion. There is another theory that the Ninjin monster may exist, but is just a special individual with a genetic mutation. The ice layers in Antarctica act as a prison to trap ancient viruses and bacteria from prehistoric times, but as the Earth warms and the ice gradually melts, they begin to revive and make humanity scared. Last year, Chilean scientists recently announced the results of a study on genes discovered in Antarctica that could give bacteria superpowers to resist antibiotics and other antibacterial drugs. Research team leader Andres Marco later said scientists from the University of Chile collected genetic samples from many different points on the Antarctic Peninsula between 2017 and 2019 and discovered that the Antarctic Peninsula, one of the regions most affected by melting ice, is home to a wide variety of bacteria, some of which constitute a potential source of long-standing genes that confer resistance to antibiotics. The superpowers developed during evolution to resist harsh conditions are contained in mobile segments of DNA chromosomes, allowing them to be easily transferred to other bacteria. In one possible scenario, these genes could leave this frozen landscape and promote the emergence and spread of infectious diseases. But these bacteria are still not the scariest thing. 
Scientists estimate that there are thousands of ancient deadly viruses sleeping in the Antarctic ice. Scientists warn that human exposure to zombie microorganisms could increase even more as the, as the world emerges from the COVID-19 pandemic. It seems likely that the Antarctic and even the Arctic regions will continue to emerge as the next major virus hotspot. Number 12's is Kimsalt work. Imagine you are preparing for the journey of a lifetime going to Antarctica. Here you will see Antarctica and can play with penguins. But how do you find the real South Pole? Probably the first thing that comes to mind is a compass. Compass's navigational tools containing magnetic pointers have helped us humans find our way around the Earth for thousands of years. The Earth's magnetic field always attracts one end of the magnetic pointer on the compass toward the North Pole. So the compass always tells us where North is. However, you may not know that compasses do not work accurately near the South Pole, and it seems useless when you set foot on this land. Why is that? The compass needles are designed to align with the Earth's magnetic field. The north end of the needle will point to the magnetic North Pole, while the opposite end of the needle will point to the South Magnetic Pole. When you take out the compass and the needle tips are stable, this axis will be parallel to the Earth's magnetic field lines where you are standing. But the Earth's magnetic field is not arranged in straight lines from the South Pole to the North Pole. When you approach the South Magnetic Pole, the magnetic field lines will bend and go straight to the South Magnetic Pole, perpendicular to the Earth's surface. So the compass will often not work, said Tom Jordan, a geophysicist at the British Antarctic Survey. Instead of trying to point horizontally, what the compass needle is actually trying to do is point straight down at the Earth. That means if you go to the South Pole and carry a compass with a needle that is free to move in three dimensions, the south tip of the compass will point straight down as soon as you reach the magnetic South Pole. Number 11. World's most mysterious 17 pounds meteorite. Scientists have found one of the heaviest meteorites ever discovered in Antarctica, as well as four other space rocks that likely crashed into the icy continent thousands of years ago. Among the five meteorites, the standout was a rock the size of a cantaloupe that weighed a whopping 17 pounds. Of the 45,000 meteorites discovered in Antarctica, only about 100 are as heavy as this. In addition, this is also a meteorite containing some of the oldest materials of the solar system. It may contain materials that are billions of years old. The meteorites were found on the ice surface in early January 2023, and it is likely that they were buried in the ice for thousands of years and only emerged after the movement of glaciers brought them back to the surface. But because the meteorites are shielded from precipitation, wind and air beneath the ice, they remain completely intact according to researchers. Number 10. Fierce mushrooms. We usually only find mushrooms in warm, humid places. But in a place where no one believes they exist, they are growing and cannibalizing the remains of polar exploration. Robert Blanchett, a scientist, has found mushrooms in a place where no one believed they existed, Antarctica. And he says they are enjoying historical treasures. Wooden huts built long ago century by legendary British explorers Ernest Shackleton and Robert Scott. The three small buildings built during Shackleton and Scott's attempt to explore Antarctica and reach the South Pole between 1901 and 1915 are considered invaluable links to the heroic age of travel polar exploration, as eight nations launched 15 Antarctic expeditions between 1895 and 1917. The huts among the only remaining structures from the species, first known endeavors people to live on the continent, monitored by the New Zealand-based Antarctic Heritage Foundation, are being eaten by this aggressive wood fungus. Not only that, Blanchett made another observation. Mentartic fungus appears to be feeding on petroleum spilled from the leaking fuel tank Scott left behind at Cape Evans. If so, Blanchett speculates that the fungus would influence humans as the enzymes extracted from it could destroy marine oil from oil spills. However, it would be a worrying future if this terrifying creature spread globally. Number 9. Illusion of Third Person Many of us have heard stories about people hearing someone's voice in their head or always feeling like there is a mysterious person walking and following them. 
but most people believe that the owner of the story was thinking too much, hallucinating or being too obsessed with a certain movie. However, starting from the story of Ernest Shackleton's expedition to the phenomenon of sleep paralysis and mysterious voices, scientists seem to have an explanation for the stories about this mysterious person. Three explorers, Ernest Shackleton, Frank Worsley, and Tom Crean during their expedition to Antarctica in 1916 had to face death when their ship froze and could not move. They walked for 36 hours, crossing many mountains with only an axe and a roll of rope. Having gone through many incidents, luckily this arduous journey ended well and the entire crew returned alive. The story seemed to end here, but a few weeks later, all three people recounted a strange incident on the rogues. They felt like there was always a fourth person silently standing by their side. Throughout the journey, not only that, this fourth person also talked and confided with them on the way. When the story was published, many climbers, explorers, and sailors also shared their memories about the appearance of a hidden person, a mysterious force, sometimes even a voice, a shadow. But there is no specific form to help me throughout the long days. According to researchers, this instance will happen commonly when the person involved is in a particularly dangerous situation related to survival. Guardian angels or guides. That phenomenon is called the third person illusion. Hallucinations and hallucinations appeared together. And witnesses described that they were not just sounds, but were so real that it seemed like the appearance of a person speaking. The third person character is not only a guide and companion in the most dangerous situations, but more importantly, it also helps people learn the mysteries about their own bodies. Number 8. Sperm is 50 million years old. My question is how on earth can this happen? And can scientists find it? That is the sperm of an organism up to 50 million years old. It's crazy, but it's completely true. In 2015, scientists discovered fossil sperm of annelid worms dating back 50 million years in Antarctica. This is the oldest known specimen of its kind. The newly discovered sperm specimen is from an extinct species of Antarctic worm. In the fossilized cocoon created for mating purposes, scientists discovered fossilized sperm cells. Information about this rare discovery was recently published in the journal Biological Letters because sperm cells have a short lifespan and are fragile. They are very rarely detected in lakes, as author Benjamin Baumfleur, a paleontologist at the Swedish Museum of Natural History in Stockholm, a member of the research team, accidentally discovered this fossil while sifting through rock samples from Antarctica looking for fossils of small animals. When the fossil cocoon was found and observed more closely, with the help of an electron microscope, scientists discovered the presence of a large number of sperm cells. But of course they have fossilized and cannot be revived anymore, but something much more terrifying than these stellar specimens has also been found, something that can revive and kill humans after hundreds of years, thousands of years of freezing in Antarctica. Number says, 60 million fish nests on the Antarctic sea, but I would like to reiterate that we are not making any mistake in bringing this information to you, that there are 60 million fish nests on the bottom of the southernmost sea. A huge population of ice fish and tothanioid was discovered in Antarctica and is the largest breeding ground for ice fish ever discovered. In February 2021, the German research vessel Polistern was surveying the seabed via a towed camera system more than 300 meters below the sea surface and transmitting images to the deck for researchers on board to view. What the scientists observed aboard the ship was an unexpected discovery. Large numbers of ice fish nests seemed to spread out in all directions. The idea of such a huge breeding area for ice fish in the previously undiscovered Weddell Sea is truly fascinating. The camera recorded more than 16,000 ice fish nests during the four-hour dive. According to researchers, mapping of this area shows that the total number of ice fish nets is about 60 million, spread over an area of about 238 km2 of a seabed. This discovery makes the ice fish population the largest breeding population ever found. The round ice fish nests on the Antarctic seabed of this giant population were about 25 centimeters apart 
have a depth of about 15 centimeters and a diameter of about 73 centimeters. Several types of ice fish nests have been classified by observers, including active nests containing 1,500 to 2,500 eggs guarded by adult ice fish, ice fish nests containing only eggs and empty nests. According to a study by scholar John Postlethwaite from the University of Oregon, the genome of ice fish is very meaningful to humans because these characteristics arose over evolutionary time in ice fish, we can help solve similar problems in humans, such as osteoporosis, reduced ability to create blood cells, and problems of the circulatory system. NUFO crashes. Until now, reaching Antarctica is still a huge challenge for humans. Except for a few extremely wealthy people, only researchers come to this land to do tasks. But when Google Earth was born, it helped all of us sit at home and still be able to explore this land. And surprisingly, it helped people discover the secret of this cold land UFOs. There are many reports of UFOs in Antarctica, but the most common are of alien spacecraft. In 2018, a mysterious object was discovered on Google Earth and alien hunters were convinced that it was a UFO landing. It was discovered on the remote island of South Georgia on the edge of Antarctica with a population of just 20 people. Footage of the object was posted to YouTube by research agency Security Team 10, blaming that it was exposing an alien cover-up, one leak at a time. They zoomed in using satellite maps to take a closer look at the object discovered near 10,000 font, Mount Paget. It appears that the object slid through the snow for a considerable distance before coming to a stop as strange tracks were also discovered running behind the mysterious object. Video is captioned what happened in Antarctica, was published on Saturday and has been viewed more than 370,000 times since then. Another photo that also gave scientists a headache was posted in 2012. We have to start the story with a photo of a Russian guy named Valentin Degdarev, a self-proclaimed researcher, comes from central Russia. He published images of what he believed to be a UFO in Antarctica discovered by himself on the Russian social network VK and received a lot of attention. Many people immediately used Google Maps to verify. It is known that just by typing the coordinates 80 day 34 8.4 S30 day 5 19.3 W into the search engine and placing it in the Earth's satellite coordinates, everyone can see this strange area. Although there are many opinions that this giant structure is an iceberg that fell off the coast of Antarctica, the UFO crazy community still asserts that it is a strange ship disguised as a ship. Some people even suggested the possibility that the 500 long object captured by Google image could be an underwater alien base. Another photo also makes many people wonder about what the government is hiding about extraterrestrial inhabitants. The photo was posted by alien hunter Scott C. Waring and claimed to have found an alien in Antarctica. Scott C. Waring posted on the blog at Database and UFO Sightings Daily that, through Google Earth, he took a photo of a strange creature about 20 meters high and next to it was a 22 meters high door. To the majority, Antarctica is just a frozen place with no people living. But for UFO hunters, they believe that aliens have chosen this land at the end of the Earth to hide spaceships and build bases. Antarctica once became a hot topic when UFO hunters claimed to have discovered some evidence of... Number 5. Fruit cake is still edible after 100 years. Once again, we have to feel that this land is really crazy. The question is how can there be fruit cake here and it is still edible after 100 years? In 2017, the New Zealand-based Antarctic Heritage Trust found a rusty metal box in Kapodar, Antarctica, containing fruit cake that was at least 106 years old, according to I. Conservationists said the box was in poor condition, but the cake wrappers were still intact. In particular, the cake still has an almost edible shape and smell. Conservationist Lizzie Meek said the fruit cake, produced by the British company Huntley and Palmers, was a favorite dish of explorer Robert Falcon Scott when he visited here between 1910 and 1913. Although the cake survived a century, other items found during the trip required many steps to preserve. The organization has conserved nearly 1,500 artifacts at Cape Adda since May 2016 and is beginning to plan the conservation of other areas. It is possible that in the future, 
we will have another surprising information about this cold land. Shipwreck. In the fall of 1915, polar explorer Ernest Shackleton's ship Endurance sank off the coast of Antarctica, leaving the crew stranded on the ice. All 28 sailors of the expedition were eventually rescued, but the ship's final resting place remained a maritime mystery for hundreds of years. The final chapter of this legendary story was completed on March 9, 2022, when the expedition team searching for the wreck of an expedition ship sunk more than 100 years ago in Antarctica announced that it had located the wreck of the Endurance at the bottom of the Weddell. Sea continued borders the northernmost part of Antarctica. The first images of the legendary shipwreck have been transmitted via autonomous underwater devices from a depth of nearly 3.2 km. March 5. Cameras pan over the ship's wooden deck, video captures centuries-old ropes, tools, railings, even the mast and rudder, all in near-perfect condition. Intact due to cold temperatures, lack of light and low oxygen levels at the shipwreck site. The Endurance was part of Shackleton's Trans-Antarctic Expedition. The expedition was funded by the British government and private sponsors to bring explorers to the Antarctic coast. Number three, says of explorers, Antarctic exploration is often very dangerous with harsh weather conditions and harsh environments. And in such conditions, many people could not stand it and left this place. The most famous and heartbreaking story is that of famous explorer Robert Falcon Scott and his crew. Explorer Robert Falcon Scott's journey to the South Pole and his death have always been one of the great stories in the history of British explorers. In 1911, team leader Robert Falcon Scott, 44 years old, led to a five-member team to Antarctica with the hope of being the first expedition in history to set foot in this place. When they arrived in January 1912, an expedition from Norway led by explorer Roald Amundsen had already arrived. Therefore, Robert Falcon Scott's group was the second group to set foot in Antarctica. On the way back to base, all five British Antarctic pioneers succumbed to starvation and extreme cold with Scott probably the last to lose his life around 29 March 1912. Eight months later, the frozen bodies of the crew members and other items, including letters, were found. Next to him were two other teammates in a sleeping position, while Captain Scott looked like he was in extreme pain before breathing his last breath. Number two, the biggest icebergs. I have very unfortunate news for you. The world's largest iceberg has separated from Antarctica and is moving towards the site of the Titanic tragedy. Many people will think that it is just an iceberg and that as long as the captain steer well, nothing will happen. Of course, with other icebergs, this is completely true, but with an iceberg three times the size of New York City, it's really not an easy task. Scientists say the iceberg, named 23A, is the largest iceberg in the world with a huge area of 1,500 square miles that is separated from the ocean floor. Previously, this iceberg separated from the Antarctic coast in 1986, but quickly part in the Weddell Sea, turning this area into an ice island. After 37 years, scientists confirmed on November 24, 2023, that satellite images showed that the trillion-ton mass of ice had drifted north across the Antarctic peninsula, aided by winds strong ocean currents. Like most icebergs in the region, 23 will most likely move into the Antarctic current, which will take it to Iceberg Alley, where several icebergs congregate in dark waters, such as the waters where the Titanic collided with an iceberg in 1912, causing the ship to sink and 15, 17 people died. Scientists are also concerned that the giant iceberg could again fall on South Georgia Island in the South Atlantic, potentially devastating Antarctic wildlife by cutting off access to of millions of seals, penguins and seabirds that use this area to breed or hunt and forage. Number one, singing tape. Did you know that the ice caps in Antarctica are not as quiet as they appear? On the contrary, they can also make sounds that researchers call singing. However, this is not the singing you want to hear because it brings a very scary feeling. This singing ice phenomenon is created when wind blows across the surface of snow-covered land. In this case, the Ross Ice Shelf in Antarctica. The emitted frequency is very low compared to the threshold of human hearing. 
Okay, but when you increase it by 1200 times, you get the creepy harmony of the frozen desert land. A research project has been established to learn about the physical properties of the Ross Ice Shelf, the largest ice shelf in Antarctica and the largest in the world, nearly the size of Spain, impacted by Earth's warming phenomenon. The ice shelves in Antarctica are melting and crumbling very quickly. To better understand the problems on the ice shelves, researchers in the group have placed 34 sensors, seismic fluctuations under the snow layer on the solid ice of the Ross ice shelf. According to researchers, wind vibrations and temperature changes both affect the sound frequency of the ice shelf. Studying how these effects develop over time could tell us more about how ice shelves respond to Earth's rapidly warming temperatures. This is the time when ice shelf protection research needs to be promoted more strongly than ever to fight a dark future in the coming century. After all, Antarctica is still a mysterious place to humans. Over thousands of years, we have only discovered a very small part of the terrifying mysteries that exist in this land. 